Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create one snack bar in Android. So snack bar is used to show one message briefly to the user. So if you see this guide here, then it says that using a snack bar, we can show one message briefly to the user. And also we need to, uh, we should use coordinate layout. We can use any other layout, but if we use coordinate layout, then the snake bar can be dismissed by swiping it away and also the layout moves some user uh, ui elements when the snake bar will appear for example so if we use snake bar here then snake bar will appear at the bottom and this button will push the little bit to, uh, to the top so it fits with coordinate layout than any other layout so let me show you with one example so i have this project here it's uh, it has only one activity and this activity and in this activity we have one coordinate layout and this is the app bar layout and we have this toolbar inside this app bar we are adding one layout content main that is this blank part and also we have this floating action button this one and if we click on this action button then it calls this method so we are using binding here and it this binding is used to set down only listener for this button and here i'm gonna write how we can show a snack bar for that we need to use snack bar this is a class come down google android material snack bar and it is similar to like those messages so here we need to use this make this method and the first one is we need to pass one view this view and the second one is the message suppose the message is hello world so the third one is used to define what is the length of this snack bar it means how, for how much time we want to show this we can show for a long time or we can show for a short time so this is long so if you go inside this make then you can see here that this is the duration then the last one is to use this show method now let me restart the app now if i click on it here then you can see that this neck bar is showing and this move button is moved up we can also give one action button in a snack bar for that we need to use this set action so we can give one name for the action suppose it is undo and also we get the click of this action in a listener suppose let me create one variable here this variable it's a counter so here i'm gonna set show the value of this counter counter and here i'm gonna show it and also uh, i'm incrementing the value of this counter suppose it is name is reset and here i'm gonna set the value of this counter as zero so it will show one action button as reset if the user click on this action button then it will reset the value of this counter now let me restart the app now if i click on it then you can see that if i'm clicking then it is incrementing the value of this counter and it is showing the value of counter and if i click on reset and if i click on it now then you can see that value of counter is reset that's all for now if you love this video please like it then please subscribe to my channel also if you have any questions please drop one comment below thanks bye